Now let's begin from the basic. So here, first of all, I need to check here pin number, pin number 18 voltage as well as this particular resistance. So first of all, we have to check the its proper voltage. We need to check this uh, particular resistor where wherever it is coming from. This particular resistor must be okay. Then we will go to check the AC in. Then we will go to check the 20 number pin, VDD pin, and then AC okay, we will check. Now let's check. So guys, as you can see that uh, this is the 24739HRZ. This is the charging IC. And uh, first of all, without putting power, I am going to check that particular register, which I need to check first of all, this one. So it is on the pin number 18. Let's come and check the pin number 18, okay? Now let's come and check pin number 18. So I am going to uh, trace pin number 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 17, 18. It is not located on this side. So let's. So, guys, uh, as you can see here, that. Uh, on this side, this register is located on this particular point. Okay, this is the register. I'm talking about this particular register. This one, 2R2, which is very tiny register located on this point. And you need to check this one first. So now you pay attention on the multimeter. Let me turn on the multimeter. and uh, see the value. Also, let me set it on the base sound. Okay, now let me check it. 2.08 ohm I am getting on this point. Okay, so 2.8 ohm I am getting on this point. Once again, because uh, this is the most important uh, voltage and current which is required for the charging IC in order to charge the battery because the same amount of current as much it is required it is, is necessary to pass across the register. This is the important point. Now, in cold checking, the only thing we have to check here and rest, we need to calculate on the calculator that what amount of AC in we need to get on this point. Okay, on the pin number one, let's come and check. So here, Let's check pin number one voltage. Now let me inject the DC in into the board. So the amperage, actually I'm not checking with the battery, only I'm checking the requirement of the charging IC first. The pin number one. So let me set it on the voltage mode. See the pin number one, check the voltage. 2.1 volt I am getting on this point. So is that right? So we just figure out through the voltage divider. As the voltage divider is set on this particular point. So how do we figure out that V uh, AD plus adapter plus voltage? Uh, it may be 20 volt. Let's I am as much I am injecting 20 volt into R2, 18, 18 is equal to 360 divided by 150 and 18, 68 divided by 168. So 2.1, let's check what I'm getting here. Let me inject 2.1 volt I'm getting on this point. So it is absolutely okay. Sometimes you may have more than 2.4 volts, uh, 4 volts in the SOC structure of fourth generation, third generation, and uh, fifth generation motherboard. Even in the some uh, sixth and seventh generation, it is depend on the architecture. It is not uh, that you set, set it or you can, because here is the tolerance. Uh, if you pay attention on the tolerance, there is always one percent tolerance is retained in most of the places 
so here you must get that uh, voltage which is uh, as much you have uh, calculated that voltage you need to get on this point so we are getting the exact same voltage as we have calculated now let's check do we get the ac okay and ac okay since that is no having any bar i or we are not having any uh, hash signal on this point so we must achieve this voltage high so let's come and check pin number 2 so we have 3.3 volt because it is high and you can see here that a pull up would be there ac okay is pulled up with 3.3 auxiliary voltage that is the ldo voltage so we have each and everything now we have forget one thing that is a 20 number pin now let's come and check that 8 16 17 18 19 20 this capacitor now let's come and see we have whatever we have forget let's check it pin number 20 8 16 17 18 19 20 a capacitor so let me turn on so we have 5.38 volt around as i told you that 5.5 volt Uh, not 5.5. It is exactly 5.4 volt actually. 5.4 volt. It is written on the schematic. 5.4 volt. So maybe 0.2 milliamp, maybe high and low. So it is good. This requirements is fulfilled. The charging IC requirement in order to pass, we can be damn sure here that our Uh, MOSFET, the first MOSFET, AC FET, and the RB FET is uh, switching properly. Now let's check the AC FET and RB FET. That uh, does that get that proper voltage? Now the situation. Let me show you here. It is on the cover. Let me remove this cover. We have the AC FET on this particular point. PU four three zero one, okay. Now let's come and check in the. Now let's come and check on the motherboard. So here we need to ultimately we need to get this common point voltage, okay. Exact that amount of voltage as much you are injecting through the DC jack or through the power supply. So if you are injecting. Twenty point thirty volt. Okay, you need to get that voltage. Twenty point thirty. Okay, thirty volt. If you are getting only twenty volt, you can understand that you will always get that the laptop is not charging. This is my personal experience. Okay, so here you have to pay attention on the last. Voltage, like let me check. So here, I'm going to plug in the DC. Now let's check. I am checking on the source. I'm getting nineteen point two three. I need to get the same, the very amount of voltage on the drain. Now let's come and check. Nineteen point two three, exactly two three. In this way, we can say that the switching biasing is proper. Now, whatever the register is set for the biasing, like three point one. Sometimes you will see three point one, sometimes one point eight, sometimes nine volt, sometimes seven volt in P channel, just because as much current is required in the motherboard, it set. the biasing through the gate okay now let's uh, check the rb fet that is the the second mosfet you say and after that there is the sensing register now through the drain okay 19.23 as much voltage you have you have received on the dc jack exact the same voltage on the 
19.23. Ultimately, our target would be the DC jack voltage must be equal to the your sensing register, the DC in sensing register, or you can say it the common point of the motherboard, 19.23. Okay, so in this way we can say this area is having no problem at all. It is quite clear. Now let's check that what is the SD and SCL. What is the condition of that? So let me set the DSO on. It is on the one volt per division and what is the timing? So timing is 100 millisecond per second. Okay. Now let's come and check. So now come and check this thing. So let me reach to the battery connector. So battery connector is uh, battery connector is situated here. So as you can see, the battery connected uh, connector is located here, and uh, I need to type here bat two. It's bat two or bat one. Bat one. Bat two is this one. Optional. There is an option. Bat one is connected. Now let me find out in the schematic where is the bat one. Bat one. So this is the battery one connector. I need to check this particular point. And uh, first of all, you need to understand uh, the few things. These are the very common points you always have to check in the charging case. Rest, there are the so many things. Uh, if I show you on the internal logic, what we teach to our students here, uh, let me minimize it. Let me minimize also this one. Let me minimize this one. So here is the few things I would like to share. So like as you can see here, this is the internal logic diagram. And the Lord sir is very specialist to teach you about the charging IC. And here he will tell you each and every point, like what is the role of BTST and how does it charge and how does it help to charge the battery and how does it open the drive gate. So there are the so many things you need to understand about all the competitors you need to understand that what is the specific role of every competitor. However, there is the process of checking that how you can check and confirm that whether the charging IC is okay or not. These things you will get to know only in that case where you have changed the charging IC, you have changed the controller IO and you have changed the MOSFET and despite the laptop is not charging, then you think that I need to update myself to understand what is the concept when this wake up will take place. Wake up is something which it will start that what is the calculation and what should you get on the ILIM or what should you get on the IART? What is the calculation of ACP and ACN? What is the 20? What is the maxing? So there are the so many things you need to understand. That is why I told you again and again, if you are required this particular charging section, you can contact on the given number, each and everything we have described over there. Only thing is that you have to practice a lot. Now let's come back to the point. So guys, as you can see here that uh, there is few things like uh, here is the battery positive area where the battery output will enter into the motherboard and uh, this this is the SM bus clock this is the SM bus data and uh, this is the battery percent this is indication with the hash what does it mean that uh, if you insert a battery then it must go low and what is the level of low decided by the architecture it may be the 300 milli voltage it may be the 400 in some of the motherboard i have experienced the 2 volt 
3.32 it will go to 2 volt sometime 1.5 volt maybe you have the different experience of this particular point we will experience today even so it this is the indication with the help of controller io that battery is detected battery is sense and uh, system present it is grounded and rest is the ground pin so here one thing we need to check first of all that uh, do we have all the required things like here we need not get any any particular voltage without battery no voltage is required so now let's come and check do we get this voltage on this point so here on the pin number 9 so this is the pin number 1 9 so we don't have anything let me confirm the ground first this is the ground with the marking no marking is there maybe on the back side so let's check this positive pin first so we have 1.8 it is rapidly decreasing as you can see and it will reach to the some point here in some of the architecture you will get 12 volt so in some of the architecture you will see that there would be 12 volt that is the different technology okay in some you don't get voltage here we are not getting voltage if we get voltage on this point 19 volt so absolutely that is a problem a big problem now the pin number we have checked that is the 1 and 2 now let's come and check pin number 3 